personal. It's personal between me you, and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing games are missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, interesting stuff coming out of Golden Boy Promotions. Uh, for those of you who don't know, this weekend we all know that uh, obviously Arthur Better Be is fighting Anthony Yard. That is the fight that has really most of the boxing public's attention. But that's not the only card that day, as uh, the Zone had a card. Golden Boy had a, has a card. And the car was initially supposed to be Alexis Rocha versus Anthony Young. Now, Anthony Young was kind of like a safe opponent, uh, low punch, low puncher, you know, low, low uh, knockout puncher, not a, not a big power puncher, but a guy that Rocha should go in there and look good against the win. Because let's be real, Rocha's a good fighter. He's a, a French contender, and he's a guy that's looking to really move his way up the rankings and, and, and be a factor in this weight class, right? So it's come out now. Um, well, to the public, it's come out now because I actually knew about this a couple days in advance. But it's come out to the public now that um, Alexis Rocha will not be fighting Anthony Young anymore. No, 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 no. He will now be taking on an African fighter by the name of George Ashy. Now, I learned this news. I'm going to tell you guys, I learned this news probably two days ago. About a, yeah, about two days ago. Because, uh, you know, Rick, Rick Lays is a good friend of mine. And apparently, we were on the phone. And he told me, hey, Roger's going to fight Roger's gonna fight this guy, George Ashy. And I told him, I didn't, I didn't know who the hell George Ashy was. And he told me who he was on the phone. And uh, here we are. He's fighting George Ashy. So, shout out to Rick Lazer. But uh, Ashy's a guy that is from Ghana. 38-year-old journeyman. Interesting career, you know. 33-5. Um, 33-5-1. 25 knockouts. Has really never won a fight outside of Africa or outside of Ghana. I mean, lost his pro debut. Um, had a draw about a year after his pro debut. He's been pro since I was eight. He, you know, he turned pro in 2003. I'm, you know, it's 20. That was 20 years ago. So he's, he, he's been a professional fighter for 20 years. He's 39 years old. Um, much like, he kind of has the same career arc and the same career path of his former uh Ghanaian fighter Emmanuel Tego, whom he fought, he fought, he actually fought Tego in 2012 to a split decision, uh, a majority decision loss. So you know he's a he's a guy that's been around the block a little bit. Fought Kevin Mitchell, remember him? Kevin Mitchell fought him for the Commonwealth title in the UK, lost a, a close fight to him. Um, so he's been around, he's been on the block. He just hasn't been able to win that that big one. So it's a it's a fight where I mean I haven't watched tape on George Ashey. So I can't really say much on his fighting abilities, but he's never been stopped. And he's a veteran fighter of 39 pro fights. This would be his 40th fight. So if Rocha could stop him, that would be a a minor step up for a, a minor statement from him. Now, what I will say is this. I, what I will say is this to Golden Boy. And, and, and this is my message to Golden Boy Promotions. You've got a lot of welterweights that I think would have loved the opportunity to fight Alexis Rocha. Uh, one guy in particular that really just jumps out at me when I think about a guy that would have been perfect for a fight with Rocha was none other than right here in South Florida, Miami's very own Harold Calderon. Harold Calderon, 27-0. That would, if, if Rocha could beat him, that would have looked great on his resume to beat a guy who was 27-0. That, 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 that looks good on anybody's resume, right? But Harold Calderon's also a guy that I feel like would be a good challenge for uh, Rocha. You know, uh, Calderon's a bigger welterweight, long arms, can box can punch, has good stamina, you know, very intelligent fighter, been around the block, no, no, knows his way around the ring. And, you know, he's still kind of an unknown commodity to the world, but I, I just feel like it would have been a more interesting fight. And I know that, and the reason I'm bringing his name up is it, it, it's intentional because I know that's a fight that he's pressed for. Uh, that's a fight that I know has been discussed. And that's a fight that I know, you know, for whatever the case may be, Golden Boy Promotions just hasn't made the fight. I'm not going to sit here and say that Alexis Rocha is ducking the fight or anything like that because Rocha, I think, would fight anybody. You know, honestly, I don't, I don't think it's him. I think it's, you know, more so the people that call the shots for his career than they're not allowing Harold Calderon to get his opportunity. And, am I, and, and, and it's it's kind of insane to me, right? It's kind of insane, right? Like, they say Harold Calderon is not that good. And even me, like, even me at times, I've been a little bit critical of Harold only because I want to see him do well. He's a South Florida fighter. I want to see him get his shot. I want to see him do well. And I've been a little bit critical of his resume at times. But how how can a guy like Harold Calderon or, you know, Pete Dobson or any of these guys who are, like, middle-of-the-road, welterweights, you know, guys that could be contenders if they got fights, 
how can these kind of fighters get into position to fight for world titles and prove what they can do if they don't get the opportunities? It's easy to sit there and point at the resume and say, this guy hasn't fought nobody. He's 27-0 or he's 20-0 or he's 16-0, whatever the case may be. But at some point in time, the rubber has to meet the road. and you got to get these guys their shots. So I just... I'm. I'm not gonna shit on Rocha, you know, because I, I, I don't know what I don't know much about George Ashi. I just know that he's durable. He's been a professional for a long time, and he's from Ghana, so I would expect that he's gonna come hungry to win. But I think I think Golden Boy and the fine folks there they missed the opportunity to try and go ahead and and, and get Harold Calderon in this fight. So um, you know, make it that what you will, make of all of that what you will. Harold Calderon should have been getting this fight with Rocha. It would have been perfect, you know, but um. It is what it is, man. You can um, make it that what you will. But Alexis Rocha is not fighting Anthony Young this weekend anymore. He is fighting George Ashey. So shout out to him. Shout out to Rick Glazer, who I know played a role in making this fight happen. And um, yeah, that's what it is. You guys, can let me know what you think in the comments down below. What do you guys think? Like, uh, like, uh, like, am I? Let me know if I'm tripping. Let me know if I'm tripping because I genuinely feel Harold Calderon would have made for a better fight, a better event, a better build up than uh, a George Ashey. But we'll see what George Ashey can do. But uh, leave your comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care guys. Thank you for watching another video on the untouchable True School Sports Empire. For more great boxing content just like this video, click right here and make sure you subscribe. Much love from sunny South Florida.